If you're anything like me, you're here because you're a fan. Fan of innovation, technologies. John and I literally sought our kimono out. We didn't know we were looking for our kimono. We were just looking for the next step, the newest thing. And John, I'm going to say, John is actually the one who found it. That's right. Uh, Nathan and I were looking for the next thing, and, and we were at work. In between shots, we have time to, to, to look for that thing. And we spent about three hours looking for a three-wheeled electric vehicle. We were specific in our search. We were a three-wheeled electric vehicle. Uh, and I stumbled upon the photo of, uh, I think, three, the pulse, the blue one, and shot the name. There's a lot of faith in my voice. <laughs> We found, we found the blue one, number three, the pulse, and it was just a, a beautiful prototype. So we decided to, uh, Nathan decided to send Mark an email, and uh, yeah, the rest was history. Mark asked me to say a few words, uh, and when he called me to ask me to say a few words tonight, I was in the middle of writing Akimoto, a thank you note. So I'm just going to read you the thank you note. Dear Akimoto, thank you. Thank you so much for simply yet so radically revolutionizing the auto industry, an industry that's seen so little change in the last century. Thank you for making a clean air vehicle for which the energy infrastructure already exists. Thank you for seeing a need facing a mere 90% of the population and filling it. Thank you for giving me a way to stick it to big oil and big auto companies. Because I am a vengeful man, and they've been sticking it to me for a long time. No matter how old I get, I don't think I'll ever get tired of looking of the fact that it looks a little like a spaceship. I'm kind of into spaceships, so thanks for that. Thank you for keeping it in Eugene. And thank you for taking this venture upon yourselves for the long hours of hard work, for the sacrifice that you and your families have endured. Ladies and gentlemen, you of Arkimoto have done something amazing, and I hope you're proud. P.S. Last time I was here, I think I left my iPhone charger in your offices. Give me a call if you find it. Thank you. designed as a hybrid between an electric motorcycle and an aerodynamic Jeep on steroids. <laughs> the SRK features multiple options for range, starting at the base 
with 40 miles, which for Eugene drivers, I mean, if, you, if you do a loop around the entire city of Eugene and Springfield, it's about 29 miles on the Beltline. So depending on the kind of driver you are, and, and many people drive 5, 10 miles a day, the 40 mile base option might be enough, but we're also planning range options of 80 and 160 miles as well. What you see here is the base model. Partially shell, very, very efficient, very functional. Now, a, a lot of people have looked at our previous prototypes and said, uh, dude, um, I don't know if you got the memo, but you live in Eugene and it rains like nine months out of the year here. So, have no fear. We have three options planned for full vehicle enclosure targeted at specific use patterns and needs. The first one we call the LT. It's made of totally recyclable, ultralight fabric. And the LT is the most environmentally efficient full enclosure that we will offer. So it's the, the fabric that we're using is both totally recyclable and printable, which means that you can print your company logos and brands or cool psychedelic patterns directly on the side of it as part of the manufacturing process, which eliminates the need for a separate vinyl wrap. The second option is called the Deliberator. <laughs> this shell is designed specifically for fleet vehicle applications. So it's paired in the Deliberator model. We'll take out the back seat. You'll have extra storage. It's designed for running errands around town, running packages, and so on. I see it. Is that a question? That's a very good question. The, the Arca Motor Vehicle is built... Oh, oh yeah, what was the question? The question was, what are the safety features of the vehicle? She, she, she has a 10 month old and wants to know what the safety features of the vehicle are. So, in designing the Arcimoto, we've looked to NASCAR uh, as a model for designing our safety frame. It's, it's a full space frame. We're, we're putting crumple zones in the back and in the front and then four-point safety harnesses on both seats. So even though the vehicle is technically regulated as a motorcycle, it is going to be more safe by orders of magnitude than any motorcycle on the road. And though we are not required to test it in terms of crashworthiness, we are planning to do so in any case. So good question, by the way. Uh, in, in terms of the, the, to get back to the, the liberator that we have here, we see this as a, just a great way for a company that has a true commitment to both environmental efficiency and cost efficiency to do all of their short range in town vehicle trips, as well as really promote environmental efficiency as a core value of your brand. And finally, the pulse option. So this is a full hard shell enclosure for everyday drivers. Each of these enclosures will be interchangeable and affixed to the base SRK by a very simple fastening system. As of this evening, you can reserve your place in our Komodo history as one of our pioneer customers. For a fully refundable reservation fee of $100, you can get in line for our very first production run of vehicles. We don't use these funds for product development, they're kept in a separate account, but they're used by our team to help gauge how quickly we need to ramp into the marketplace and what the demand is out there as we move forward. We'll begin a launch tour starting in several weeks up and down the west coast to drive pre-order sales but we thought it was only appropriate to offer this first opportunity to our own hometown. Yeah. So what's next? Five down, two big steps to go. 
First, we, we need to raise the funds necessary to bring the SRK into full production. Arkimoto has successfully raised funds for the completion and launch of the product prototype. We develop a, net, a network of interested individual and institutional investors to whom we will offer a chance to participate in this unique opportunity. We've also engaged in conversation with the state and federal governments to catalyze production and continue Arkimoto's research into ultra-efficient vehicles. Throughout the sixth generation of development, we will engage the community of our pioneer customers and enthusiasts in a tight feedback loop to fine-tune our design and product offerings. The engineering team will continue to refine the design, every aspect of the vehicle experience, fine-tuning for shaving weight, improving efficiency, buildability, and safety. After testing of the product prototype and design iteration conclude, Arkimoto will begin building the Generation 6 pilot fleet. This is a very limited, exclusive pre-production run. Only 11 vehicles will be built and sold to key early adopter customers up and down the West Coast. Arkimoto, as of today, has already pre-sold four of these vehicles. If you think you belong in this elite cadre, I'm talking to you. Production line lane planning is going to overlap with pilot vehicle testing and production finalization, and upon conclusion, we'll enter Generation 7 production. Arkimoto's assembly plan is regionally localized. We plan to leverage in this region the advanced manufacturing capabilities in the Willamette Valley, the custom part creation, steel and plastic fabrication, and utilize the existing automotive supply chain for a whole array of off-the-shelf components. We, uh, we don't like to reinvent the wheel, we just like to use them better. <laughs> we'll prototype the company's assembly model here and begin licensing the design and manufacture plans to vehicle builders for other regions worldwide. We utilize existing capabilities where appropriate as well as new technologies when they become cost effective to help us solve the basic problem of getting from A to B in a much more environmentally efficient and fun way. We hope you will join us. Thank you. And if every member of the Arkimoto team could come forward, and I would come forward. So, Arkmo, I think only has one guy on the team. Come on. So, so this is the team that actually has made this whole journey possible. And when you clap, you are really clapping for that. Come on, rest of the team. There's one. There's a bunch of them are also fantastically good dressers. <laughs> Somebody must be holding down a key security checkpoint or something. But we really appreciate you all coming out tonight to check it out and uh, enjoy the party. <laughs> <laughs>